Okay, so today we're going to talk about stem changing verbs. And this is not working. Okay, so present tense stem changing verbs. Now, <clears throat> some of you might want to know, what is a stem changing verb? Well, it's a verb that changes stem when conjugated. I know. Okay, so what is a stem though, right? Because not everybody knows what that is. Well, when you remove the last two letters of a verb, of any verb, you're left with the stem of that verb. So, for example, bailar minus the AR is bail. Correr without the ER is cor. And vivir without the IR is viv. Okay, so uh, the bail and the cor and the viv are the stems. These happen to not be stem-changing verbs. It would have been smart for me to put one that just st changes stems. But you're about to see all those. So these are regular verbs. They don't change stems. So they get conjugated just like they look. Um, I just throw the verb charts on there, um, and, and I'm good to go. Here's another one. I want to see if you get this right. Limpiar. What's the stem of that one? Limpi. And I did that one because it's got two vowels at the end, and that sometimes confuses people. But it doesn't matter. Remove the last two letters. You've got your stem. Okay, so stem changing verbs, um, okay, it doesn't even tell you that, but stem changing verbs change tense. Now, uh, there's three different types. Um, there's O to U, E, then there's E to I, and then there's E to I, E, okay? The other thing you need to know is that if I were making a regular verb chart like we do in class, uh, where I've got kind of, it looks almost like a tic-tac-toe box, um, the bottom, the whole left side gets changed and the bottom of the right side gets changed. So if you imagine drawing a boot around the verb chart, that's why these are also called boot verbs. Um, so it kind of looks like this. Okay, so um, there are three groups of stem changing verbs. I already covered that. And um, it occurs in all forms except for the nosotros and vo uh, vosotros forms. Now, again, we don't usually use the vosotros forms in our Spanish classes, so that's why this box is blank. But you can see that the nosotros form is left out of it. So the verb jugar, which is spelled J-U-G-A-R, gets a stem change everywhere that's inside of the boot, but not outside of the boot. So uh, this is just an interest interesting tidbit of like, how do I know if it's going to be an O to UE verb? Uh, for any and all stem changing verbs, if the syllable where the stress falls is an O, then the root changes from O to UE. So some examples of those are uh, coming up later, apparently, because we're doing E to IE first. So E to IE verbs, and you just have to memorize the E to IE and the E to I verbs because there's so many of them. Um, and there, there's not, there's not a rule that I can tell you. <clears throat> so here are some, let me pause and cough. Here are some great examples of E to I E verbs. Um, we gave you a list. This is a little bit larger than that list, but just that original list is what's going to be re uh, relevant for you on the test and on the retake and on the final. Um, so I've got empezar, uh, querer, preferir, pensar, divertirse, despertarse, sentirse, mentir, cerrar, and comenzar, and entender. Now, another thing we noticed on the test is that some people wanted to do a stem change with the first vowel. Like, which one do I do? Well, if it's an E to I, E verb, um, and any verb that you've got two vowels, you're going to change the second one. Um, so I'm not changing the first E here. I'm changing the second E. Um, now, this has a second vowel, but that's part of the ending. So remember, what makes it a stem-changing verb is that I've removed the last two letters. So if I remove AR, then there's only one uh, vowel in the verb pensar. So again, there were two vowels here. I always change the second one, okay? So, um, this is, by the way, what they mean, and you're welcome to pause the video and look for that if you'd like. And here's an example. Perder is to lose. So, pierdo, pierdes, uh, pierde, perdemos, perdes, nobody cares about uh, the vosotros that much for us. Uh, the nosotros, you notice, that went back to paired instead of pierd, and then back to pierden because it's outside of the boot that I just drew. 
Okay. So here is some practice for us. La escuela. So which E am I going to change? The second. <clears throat> now imagine that you're taking off the AR. And so my new stem would be EMP. Get rid of that E and change it to IE. So E-M-P-I-E-Z. And then I'm talking about the school. The school is one thing. I'm not the school and you're not the school. So it's not the yo form or the two form. So the answer is, uh, <laughs> I skipped it, uh, empieza, which hopefully is the next one. There we go. And then yo quiero sacar una A en la clase de español. Um, <clears throat> since the answer's up there, we can talk about it. Um, this is E to I E. And I know a lot of people get confused because there's a Q in there as well. Uh, but again, what did I just say? I said change the second vowel, right? Also, U is kind of a wuss. It doesn't count. Um, but I'm going to change the E to I E. Okay? So that's where this came from. Uh, nosotro, nosotras, and the verb is preferir. Do I stem change on this? No, I don't because it's in the nosotros form. So that gave me preferimos. <clears throat> the next one, two, regular old stem change. So remove the IR ending. So your new stem, instead of M-E-N-T, is going to be M-I-E-N-T. And if two is the subject, it's going to end in E-S, mientes. La profesora. La profesora. And I'm going to remove the AR ending, and I'm going to change my stem. So it's going to be C-I-E-R-R. It's one person doing the changing, not me, not you. So it's just going to be Sierra. And los estudiantes, no. And then the verb is entender, which means to understand. And I'm going to remove that last ER. I'm going to change the second E to IE. And it is plural, los estudiantes. Now, I'm a student at Grand Oaks, you say. Does that include me? No, because if it did, it would say we, or it would say los estudiantes y yo. So no, it doesn't include me. So it's just the students. It's plural, doesn't include me, so it's not the nosotros form. So I am going to stem change, and I'm going to put on an en ending. Next up, yo. Again, take off the er here. And then I'm going to put uh, e to ie, so it's going to be pierdo mis llaves mucho. I lose my keys a lot. All right, stem changing verbs moving on. Now we've got the O to UE. So back to what I said, uh, there's a, a vowel sound, I think, before the second syllable or something. Um, so it's going to have uh, O to UE. So here are my examples of the O to UE verbs, okay? This is their meanings. And again, you're welcome to pause the video um, and see what those mean. Moving right along, here's an example of poder. So again, it's a boot verb, so I'm just changing what's in the boot. Oops. <clears throat> to puedo, puedes, puede, podemos, podéis, and pueden. Everybody should know puedo because y'all all asked to go to the bathroom in my class before. Now, los amigos. So again, uh, by the way, this is a U verb. So how is it in the O to U E form? Well, who God is adopted. So who God uh, gets it acts just like an O to U E verb. It's just that it's U to U E verb. And there's really not more than that one. So it just kind of got adopted into this family. That's why we didn't take care of it anywhere else. So again, it's U to U E. And then it's plural amigos. Doesn't include me. So I could say mis amigos. I could say los amigos. Doesn't include me unless I say E yo. So it's not going to be a, um, it's not going to keep its original stem. It is going to change. So juegan. La niña. O to U E, and it's one girl, so cuenta. La chaqueta, one jacket, O to U E, cuesta. Yo no, O to U E, recuerdo. Again, it was the second vowel that I changed. Mis hermanos y yo, that includes me. That's more than one person, and it includes me. So this is not going to change. So it's going to stay dorm, and then I put the ending on it, dormimos. And then la clase, it's one class. It's not in the nosotros form, obviously, even though I might be a part of a class. It's one class. So it is going to stem change. Again, it's the second letter that's going to stem change, and it's going to be O to U E, so almuerza. 
And that's the verb for to eat lunch. So instead of come el almuerzo, I just say almuerza. And by the way, the word for lunch is almuerzo. It literally has the stem change in it. Arturo y tú. So that's two people. And I love this one. <clears throat> people get confused on it. Um, so Arturo y tú. You know that's two people, right? Because you saw the E. <clears throat> and I don't know what does this to people, but y'all get confused with the two. So back to what I teach my students. This is two people, correct? So we know it's on the plural side. So we start at the top and then nosotros box. Does this subject right here include the word yo or nosotros? No, it doesn't. So it is not the nosotros form, which means it defaults down to the ellos, ellas, ustedes forms. This, by the way, would be ustedes since we don't use the vosotros form. And I'm going to do O to U E and it's pueden. Ooh, that is a typo. Let me fix it. Okay, much better. Pueden. Oh my goodness. Can't make mistakes when I'm teaching. All right, stem changing verbs. Let's look at E to I verbs. And so I said this before, just because a verb has an E in the stem and you know it's a stem changer doesn't mean you know if it's an E to I, E or an E to I. Now, hopefully you've done enough practices that you can write them both out and be like, that one looks wrong. But my strongest suggestion would, would be that you memorize each list, O to U, E, E to I, E to I, E. But my weakest but best suggestion on the weak side is that you at least memorize one list. So maybe you just memorize all the E to I verbs. Because O to U, E is easy because if it's not an O in the vowel, um, then you're not going to have to do anything else. Like it's not one of those. But E, you have two different kinds. So I would at least memorize one. Maybe the E to I would be easiest. Uh, it's kind of a small list. There you go. Reyer and sonreyer act a little bit differently, so we will cover that last. Pido, pides, pide, pedimos, back into the original stem, pedis, we don't use it, and piden. So again, this is just E to I. So todos los restaurantes mexicanos, plural, okay? Take off the stem, uh, get to the stem by removing IR, and you've got serve. So it's I, I, serve, and it's plural restaurant, so sirven. La profesora. I got two vowels. Which one do I change? The second one. So repite. Okay? Change that E to an I, and then it's going to get the regular E ending. Los estudiantes. This one looks super scary. It's got a U there. What do I do? So I remove the IR, just like normal. I change this E to an I. And then I add en because it's plural students. So siguen. It looks completely different, but it's actually pretty easy to get to. It follows the exact same rules. And then Marta, um, it's one person, not nosotros. So I'm going to cross off the ir. I'm going to change that e to an i. And then my regular ending for an ir verb would be an e. So pide. And then Sarita y yo. That is the nosotros form. I see yo right there. So I'm not going to change the stem. I'm just going to remove the IR and add imos. Repetimos. Okay? Last one to look at is reír. It's got that accented I, and when you stem change, it's E2 accented I. And I'll fix that one so it's easier to look at. Accented I. And it's the same thing for son reír. And that was it. Sorry, let me go back. So it's just E to I with an accent instead of anything else, okay? But then, of course, in the nosotros form, it keeps that form. All right, that's it.